Whether you are a tabletop gamer or a fantasy writer, knowing a wealth of vocabulary words can make a huge difference in the tone of your characters and your prose. To give you an example, let's compare two different sentences. They both convey the same thing, but the wording is quite different. I checked out the ruins up there on the hill. I didn't see anything, but there was a weird sound coming out of a tunnel. The stairs that go down into the tunnel are in pretty bad shape, so we better watch out if we go in. This first sentence sounds like how somebody in the real world talks. It's fine for a modern setting, but most fantasy settings have a medieval or ancient type of world. So that's going to cause a tone clash if you speak that way or if you write that way. Let's change up the wording. I scouted the ruins atop the hill. I saw nothing, but a ghastly sound emanated from a tunnel. The stairs descending into the tunnel are crumbling. If we are to enter, we must be wary. The second sentence has more style. It's more evocative in its descriptions. As well, it feels less modern. It doesn't sound like a typical conversation that you're going to hear day to day. This is going to improve the tone of your storytelling or your role playing. It makes everything more immersive, more fantastical. So let's look at some great vocabulary words that you should learn. They're beautiful, poetic, prosaic, and really rich. They're sure to make a difference for you. Abattoir. Acrid. Ambrosia. Amphora, baleful, banal, boreal, cadre, clamber, coppice, crumbling, diadem, dirge, droll, effigy, emanate, Esoteric, foreboding, gambeson, ghastly, gossamer, grotesque, halcyon, harbinger, harridan, horrid, iniquity, jeer, jubilee, Ken, Kith, Nell, Lacuna, Laud, Legitimane, Lupine, Malediction, Miasma, Minaret, Missive, Nebulous, Nexus, obelisk, obstinate, ominous, opalescent, ossify, panacea, parapet, pernicious, quarrel, quagmire, rake, or rake hell, rampart, reverie, rookery, salve, sarcophagus, scion, swill, tallow, thane, tome, umbral, Unjoint, vainglorious, vulpine, wary, waxen, winnow, wistful, xanthus, yearn, zeal, zenith. I hope these words will enhance your creative work and give your writing or your character acting more style. 
A wonderful aspect of the English language is how rich and expansive the vocabulary is. Use that to your advantage. You'll see what a difference it makes. I could have gone over many, many more words. Maybe I'll save uh, them for a second video. In fact, I could probably do a whole series of videos. There are that many words in the English language that are so evocative and so stylish. Well, that'll be it for now. Thank you for watching, as always. And may your adventures be many.